Autodoc results are always stored in a DLG file. In this case, we're going to use this phosphate.dlg and uh, we can check it with common Unix tools if you are comfortable with them. You can try the command tail uh, phosphate.dlg and it will show you the last lines of the file. You can see here that the time it took to for the process to complete and some of the late latest information on that file. Now let's use Autodoc tools to visualize the phosphate DLG file. We open ADT tools and then we can start by opening the analyze menu, then dockings and open. Using the file browser we can locate the appropriate file, the phosphate DLG and load it. There we go. The Autodoc tools will read the ligand and the docking procedure results. Now we can preview the results in terms of the energies and cluster of the results. Let's see. Let's go to the Analyze menu, then Confirmations, then Load. The Autodoc tools will read the ligand and the docking procedure results. And the lower, the lower panel now lists the doc confirmation for the ligand grouped according to the clustering performed at the end of the Autodoc calculation. Double clicking any of these results will make it the current confirmation in the visualization panel. The upper panel displays info about the current confirmation. For more details, you can read the printed tutorial and to get an idea of what those values mean. There are other ways to review the results. For example, let's go to the Analyze menu, then Confirmations, and then Play. This will open a confirmation player. As you can see, it resembles a DVD or CD control panel. It also lists the ID numbers of the Autodoc results, starting from zero and up to the number of runs you executed. The buttons with the ampersand and the quatrefoil symbols are for the settings of the play options and the clustering and excuse me for closing the panel respectively the other buttons are more similar as you as i mentioned early earlier to dvd control panels play around with them so you can visualize the confirmations and get used to the controls by default orthodox cluster results with a 0.5 armstrong's rmsd let's check it out let's go to the analyze clustering and show menu now you can see a histogram. If you click any of the bars, you'll get to see each of the structures within each cluster. The confirmation number info widget shows you both the ref MSD and cluster RSMD. For more info on this RMSD, you can check out the grid and tutorial. Now you can uh, go again to analyze menu, clusterings and recluster. In this menu you can choose new RMSD parameters for clustering the results. After it performs the calculations, you can review again your histograms to find out how the clusters went. Now let's review the Autodoc results in context. For example, we can go to the Analyze menu, uh, Macromolecule and Open. This will open the macromolecule in which the docking was, proce was uh, processed. We can select uh, the select menu and go to direct select. Here we can check on the protein and the ligand and select them by clicking on the buttons. Okay, in the mm, compute menu we can choose molecular surface and compute molecular surface. This will allow, allow us to represent the protein with its surf surface and in this panel, in this parameter panel, we should increase the density to 10. Now click OK. Uh, when it's finished, we can go to the color menu and choose color by atom type. In, in this uh, window, we can click on MS mold and check OK. Now we have a representation of the molecules in surface. We can use this to visualize the way the molecule we have docked in the protein fits into its surface. Let's apply some of these techniques. Let's open analyze, dockings, open and load phosphate DLG. 
Now, to have a context in which to work, we go to Analyze, Macromolecules and Open. This will automatically load the protein in which the dog procedure was uh, carried on. So, now we have it. And let's further change the color of the molecule so we can see that it's composed of two chains. There it all goes. You can see the two molecules uh, joined together at the middle. And now, let's select just the protein and display the molecular surface. Okay, compute molecular surface. with a proof radius similar to that of a radius of a water molecule ok, it don't, doesn't seem really pretty but I guess it's because of the resolution at which I'm recording this video now color the surface by chain again we can see the starting position of the phosphate there it is in blue and now analyze clusterings and show you can see that about 400 of 500 docking tries were very similar in terms of RMSD and let's turn it around this this is a very boring result because the binding of the phosphates occur on the catalytic side which is about the middle of the red zone you can see the phosphate molecule tumbling around there but it's it's not very exciting but it's just an example to show the molecule. Let's try to make it more clear. Let's see if we can compute the, mo the molecular surface of the ligand. It's supposed to be done, but okay, it seems not to be working quite as I expected, but there you can see the result. Now play, you can see it, it wobbles a little, but then I didn't expect it to be very different from previous results with this uh, type of molecule. Okay, there you go with this tutorial. I hope it helps you.